Rich. You busy? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I'm glad to hear that because this just came in from a customer. It says, my relay blew out in my lighting fixture. How come? It probably doesn't meet the NEMA 410 standard. The NEMA 410 standard? What's that? It defines the worst case interest expected from lighting control switches used with electronic drivers and ballasts. The NEMA 410 revision includes ratings for 347 volts for the Canadian market. In fact, Panasonic's new DJH relay meets all these ratings. But a relay like that's got to draw all kinds of power. Actually, no. It's a latching relay. So you just pulse the coil on, pulse it off, and it consumes no power when in operation. So it saves you tons of power. So you're saying a relay like this can actually lower my electricity bill? Like putting money in your pocket. What about the European market? Well, we have a 200 picofare capacitor rating for the European market. It meets IEC 60669. Boom, son. It's great. It seems like you've thought about just about everything. Yep. Is there any other application for this, Mr. Wizard? Actually, yeah. You could use these in a smart switch or smart outlet because we have all the ratings, capacitor rating, ballast rating, electron ballast rating. It can handle any load, no matter what you plug into the outlet. So you're saying that's like a smart relay? Very smart. Well, but wouldn't it be easier just to use a contactor? Oh, no. Contactors are for a totally different type of application. You would use a contactor if you're in industrial control with high current and high inrush capability. Now, if that's what you're doing, our HE series is designed to replace contactors. This relay in particular is rated 90 amps, it has a 200 amp current inrush rating, and it's printed circuit board mount. You just put it on the board, put it through wave solder, you'll save space and save money. Hey Rich, what's that for? It's my lunch. Hey, you might want to... Ah, That's hot.